All right, so first of all, big shout out to Toasty McStrudel. Oh my gosh, for the 12th, for the two month resub. Thank you very much, Toasty McStrudel. And to Skipper1100, my latest follower. I really appreciate that from the both of you. Thank you very much. Ah, Dale and Nine, 2.30 a.m. Holy cow. Thank you for hanging out for so long. But I totally understand that you may want to go take a relaxation. Iska. Hey. Hi, hello. Hi, do you want me to toss you this little toy? Come here. Yeah. I was going to go grab a... Uh, I have a sweater because I'm actually a little chilly. He's got. Come here. She really wants me to play with her. But she also really wants to hide under the bed instead of playing with me, so that's a thing. What is this? What? Oh my god. Eeks. Did you trip over something? Yeah, totally. Where did the. Wow, okay. So Kiska ran across the room here, and uh, she tripped over the cord that was connecting my PlayStation controller to my PlayStation. So the cord and the controller have become disjointed from each other. I have no idea where the controller is. That's amusing. Ah. But I'm coming back. We'll, we're going to deal with that later. I wonder where the PlayStation controller did actually get to, because I didn't hear anything crash or get... Wow, look at that hair. Ah, that's a little better. So. Tried to make a margarita from memory. Didn't quite work out. So, RIP controller, controller is gone. All right, so. <sighs> We're back. Hey, hey baby, come here. Where's Kiska? Kiska. She really wants to play. Oh my gosh. Hey, sweets, come here. She gets so excited when I toss a toy for her. She goes, she waggles her head. Dumb guy 57, thank you for loving the stream. I appreciate that. So, for each person, wait. Person, person, in all persons. Do some stuff. I am easily distracted. I'm easily, I'm easily distracted by my cat. She's a cutie. Oh, God. She found the toy that I threw for her. She's so cute. Okay. Oh. Poor baby. Kiska, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, sweetie pie. Come on. Hey. Come here. Hey, okay. Where'd you put my controller? Where'd you toss that thing to? Hmm, so... If... my mind wait if person dot my mind is not equal to null and person dot my body is also not equal to null then we're going to generate linked clues so here we'll just If person dot my mind equals null, come here. Hey, come here. Check it out. 
here she is. She doesn't play fetch. She just picks them up in her mouth and then she tosses them for herself. Uh, since she doesn't really like playing with people, like she'll play a little bit if I toss toys for her. But um, she's also just a little bit too shy to really play with me. Hey, you gonna, you gonna flop over if I pet your belly? You gonna do it? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, gosh. I can't believe her. Okay. I need to give her a little bit of attention so that she feels okay. So, if person dot my mind equals no. Should this be an else if? I don't think it really matters. Because we're kind of going down a list. If this, or if this, or if that. I don't think it matters if it has an else or not. Dumb guy, did, did Nightbot, was it prejudiced against you for some strange reason? Nightbot can be a little aggressive sometimes. Uh, if my mind is null and person dot my body is not equal to null, Generate mind only red herring clues. And then if person dot my body equals null and person dot my mind is not equal to null, then generate body only red herring clues. Yes. It's the really wrong ratio of ingredients. Okay. So now, we somehow need a list of linked clues. Or we don't really need that just yet. Steam XOXO, is anyone in the tech industry able to verify out that Agile methodology is as important as my university is telling me it is? Steam XOXO, I work in the games industry, and the Agile methodology is the methodology that we use. It is important. A linked list. No, I'm not using sour mix, memory core dumped. It's the wrong mixture of ingredients. I have uh, tequila, Cointreau, uh, simple syrup, and lime juice. And it's just not the right ratios because I'm trying to do it from memory. Okay, a linked list. What's a linked list? Let me look up what a linked list is. Linked list C sharp goo. A linked list. Count first, last, add after, add before, add first, add last, clear, contains, equals, finalize, find, remove, remove first, remove last. Um, represents a doubly linked list.
Oh, it's, it's a quote from Archer. Well, that shows you how much attention I'm paying this evening, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Link list. Linked list is probably not what I really want. It doesn't seem to be exactly what I'm looking for. It's a tough one. Since I don't know how to use them, I think I'm going to avoid them for the moment. So right now, all I want to do is I want to say, hey, we've got both a mind and a body. The mind needs to have the clue that it belongs to this body. The body needs to have a clue that it belongs to this mind. That's all I want right now. I thought that might be what was happening, Grazawasa. I, I thought that. Okay, so person dot my mind dot clue first equals um body number and then uh It's like I want to find my body in all bodies. So, all bodies dot find. Person dot my body. Uh, how will the clues look like the Sith roll? Right now, they're just going to be strings saying body number three or mind number one. You know, I just want it to be super basic at the very beginning here so that, so that it works. MTO2424, hello. Welcome to the stream today. We are not firing on all cylinders this evening, MTO2424, but I'm glad you're with us. And it's okay. It's okay that we're not firing on all cylinders. Sometimes we aren't. I want to make sure that find is doing the thing that we want. List, C sharp, let's go. So this apparently is how to program. You just Google everything that you're curious about until you find the solution. So find searches for an element that defines the whatever, find index. I think what we want is find index, because I want to find the index of the object. I think that's what we want. You just normally pipe the result of curl stack overflow into a C++ file. Yep. You become a professional once you have several different bookmarks for advanced things. If you just want to find a concrete value, you probably want index of. Look at that. Index of person.mybody. Okay. Uh, int body bodnum equals... We'll do that, and then plus bodnum. Uh, and then int mind num equals all minds dot index of person dot my mind. And then dot my body dot clue first 
equals mind number plus mind num. You now know why games have so many bugs. It's just a bunch of people using Google to write the code for their games. It's true. It's true. Uptime is about an hour and a half, the Swag's 3D. Okay, so that's good. Uh, if person my mind is null and my body is not null, then person dot my body dot clue first equals red herring one. And then the other way around, person dot my mind equals, wait, dot clue first equals red herring one. So this is just, all we're doing right now is getting some super basic clues so that we can probably next time put together the UI that shows us minds and shows us bodies. And then, uh, and then we can associate them with each other. Now, uh, when I do the debug logging stuff, debug log log, blah, what I want to do is I want to put clue debug dot log clue one colon plus mind dot clue first. And then for the body, debug dot log. Clue one plus body dot clue first. Save it, build it, shit. Those semicolons. All right, we got them. Okay. So we've done some stuff in the background. It's not very complicated, but it's different. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we've got, um, we've got mine number one. Its name is John Paul Jakes. Its job is position five. And the clue number one is that it belongs to body number zero. Mind number two, name is Vokter Lake. Job is position number four. Clue is that it belongs to body number one. Hey. Hi. Oh, she wants so much attention tonight. Hi. We've been rubbing her on her belly while she stands and she doesn't mind. Oh. Body number three is Brian Fritz. Its clue is that it's, or mind number three is that its clue is body number two. And then, we are, um, and then we have nothing because mind number four doesn't belong to a body and mind number five doesn't belong to a body. Body number one belongs to mind number zero. So there's some like plus and minus and whatever, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we can just do this. Plus one. Plus one, save. I think that should work. Hit play. Plonk. So here we go. Mind number one, clue is body number oh one. Mind number two, uh oh. <laughs> Cause that's a concatenate. Okay, all right. This is, this is killing me here. All right, hang on int bodnum equals that plus one. Plus 
There. That should do it. Programming is life. Okay, yep. So mind number one, clue one, body number one. Mind number two, clue one, body number two. Mind number three, clue one, body number three. So now, body number one, clue one, mind number one. Body number two, clue one, mind number two. Body number three, clue one, mind number three. Okay, good, we got it. So, um, the Swag's 3D. We're making a game where you play an artificial intelligence and you are sorting minds that you have stored in your cloud databanks into bodies that you have stored in your cryo freezing apparatus. It's a tiny little game uh, and it's gonna probably have like 90 seconds of gameplay when we're done with the game and then we're gonna make a new game. And record dumped and see body number one plus one is body number one. That's amazing. I have not worked in C ever. Okay. Good. Now we have almost everything we need. Now we have almost everything we need. Now I just need to display them. Saw a couple people follow just out of the corner of my eye. Thank you very much for those. I do appreciate it, even if I'm a little bit neck deep in C sharp to uh, shout out to you every time. But thank you nonetheless. Okay. So, I'm trying to formulate how we're going to do this. And I think for now, the easiest way to do it is to do it in the game UI. In game. Burp. So, this is going to be named Button Mind 1. Duplicate it. Button mind two. Duplicate it. I'm just pressing control D to duplicate each of these elements. I'm creating a series of buttons. Duplicate, control D, mind four. Duplicate, control D, mind five. Now ideally, I think we could, would want to do this in code so that it's like we generate a number of buttons. Um, we generate a number of buttons equal to the number of minds that there are. My UI design is so super accurate. Mm, super accurate. Okay, so then what we want is we want this text to be drawn from. I want this text to be drawn from the attributes of the minds themselves. Now I can actually move that text around so I could have mind name over here and then clue over here. I don't want to do all of that nonsense right now. Okay. Oh, that's good. And then we're going to duplicate this. It's going to be body one. I duplicate this. Body two. I'm going to duplicate this. Body three. Just out of curiosity, how long have you been using Unity or C-sharp? Um, so for 
Oh, the Sepola. Yes, you're the guy that needs me to like my own page so you can give it over to me. Yeah, yeah, great, awesome. I will totally do that, the Sepola. Thank you for, for pointing that out, sorry. Um, and the reason I haven't gotten back to you yet is just because I'm super busy. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you for any reason other than time. Just so you know. Cool. Whoops, I didn't want to duplicate all of those. Good. So, each of these buttons has a component. The component is called text at the moment. We could have two text components, one of which called name and one of which called clue one. And then I can encode, assign a string to name and to clue one. I think that's what we're going to have to do. The Sepola made a fan page for me for Facebook. So if you go to the Facebook and you search for Silent Osiris, you find a page that's currently run by the Sepola. It's, uh, it's mostly empty at the moment, but I'm going to take it over so that people actually have a place to like me. It's already got like 50 likes, which I'm surprised by. I didn't expect to have nearly that many Facebook likes. I don't know. I don't think about these things. Uh, let me see. So this is name. Name text. And then I also want another one. This is clue one. So there we go. Now we've got two things here, right? Yeah. Should have done all of that duplicating after doing that. Let's do that. So mind um, width is going to be like 300. Let's say 248. Mm -hmm. And then height is going to be 90 or 70. So the name is going to be at the top center. Blue one is going to be at the bottom center. OK, so text is going to just say name. And clue one is just going to say clue one. OK, so duplicate, 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 duplicate. Mind two. Mind three. And you can hit F2 to edit the field, and you can use the um, keyboard to navigate around as you see me doing without the mouse. So, mind two will just come down here, mind three will just come down here, mind four will just come down here. And mind five will come down here. And now I'm going to take mind one, two, and three and duplicate them, bring them straight over here. And these will be three bodies. So body three, btn underscore body three. Whoops. And it's body one, of course. Whoops. Nope, that's body three. How interesting. Mind or body two. And then body one. I have 65 Facebook likes now. Thank you, Renzen360. Yes, the Sepola's goal was for Senpai to notice me. Wouldn't it be simpler to assign the name and hints altogether to the person alongside the mind and body? Um, probably. Sathalan, two months sub. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who decides to sub to me and support the Twitch Makes Games initiative. Oh, so as you can see here, game making is not all um, glamorous. 
Though in the past we've had some glamorous sessions. Okay, so if we hit play now, that's what our UI looks like. We've got minds and bodies. And then we can hit escape, pause the game, ta -da -da -da, and then hit escape and go back to the game. So there you go. Nice. Starting to actually get additional stuff into the game this time that we didn't have last time. So that's great. Oh, oh, so sleepy. Kiska's decided to finally chill out. Hey, baby. A little chill. Good. Good to be chill. Hmm. Reason 360's name is pronounced like Reason. Thank you, Reason 360. I will try to remember that. So, good. Now we can come back into code and we can say button. Is that what we can say? Using Unity. Public button? Public object? Public game object? What is a button? Not that it isn't all glam, but it's tricky and slow work. Ac accurate polygonatron. Let's see, unity button. A button class. Standard button. On click, etc., etc. Game object. The game object this component is attached to. The component is always attached to the game object. So. Yes. So I think with the get component, get component returns the component of type type if the game object has one attached. Get components. Hmm. Interesting. So this is going to be, again, yet again, a little bit of just fiddling through stuff. Using Unity Engine dot UI. Save. Uh, public button. Yes. Uh, and this is button is named mind uh, BT and mind one. And then public button BTN mind two public button BTN mind three public button BTN mind four. I always want to put an underscore there. Public button btn mind five. So this is why I should do it all in code so that I'm just creating the number of buttons that I need and then yes, so I'm gonna add a note. Should be doing this all in code and creating the buttons that I need. But whatever. Public button btn body one. Public button btn body to public button btn body three. Save. Make an array of buttons, pretty please. Um, I don't know. Should they be in an array? I don't think they need to be in an array right now. I'll put another comment here. Should probably be in an array once they're made in code. But whatever. Excellent. Sir Lord Brit, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I could copy paste. But I'm already done. 
So now we come out here, we select gameflow.game. .game. Oops. There we go. And now we have all the buttons. Button mind one button. Button mind two button. Button mind three button. Button mind four button. Button mind five button. Just populating all the buttons in there. Button body three button. That, you need to come down under button body one. Button body two, you need to be under there. There, now, no, everything's terrible. Okay, body one, body two. And this is why it should all be done in code so we just have that explicit whatever. Yep. You think they should be actually, that's okay. Fiddling through stuff. You mean programming, memory core dumped? Yes, exactly. Okay, so each of the buttons has two subcomponents. It has a name and a clue. Actually, that's not components. Those are, what are those? Are those child game objects? How can we access those in code? Access button text through code unity. So, button text unity. Get and set button text with uGUI 4.6. Anyone know how to get and set the text of a button with the new uGUI? I tried, button one, get component in children text. Get component in children. Returns the component of type type in the game object or any of its children using depth first search. I have two types. Type T returns, hmm, returns the component, component, tag, that's the tag, transform, I want tags, two string, get instance ID, hmm. I think we're gonna need to check like the two string of the child component. This episode should be titled, But Whatever. I agree, Omar Cash. Oh man, we are definitely entering murky waters. Okay. So once we've assigned all of the things, we've done the debug logging. Now we want, yeah, now we want to tie the buttons with bodies and minds. So, for each mind, mind in all minds. Okay, Graza Waza and Memory Core Dumped. You were right. The buttons should be in an array. There should be an array of mind buttons and an array of body buttons. And the reason for that is so that I can iterate through the minds and assign them to the mind buttons and iterate through the bodies and and iterate and iterate through the body buttons. Okay. You are totally right. So, okay. Uh
So, um, public button mind buttons equals new button. Yes, and then that uh, this good. Now I just want to delete that and tab. And it's commas. Tab, 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 tab. Okay. And then public button body buttons equals new button. <laughs> the name body buttons is uh like it reminds me of the the game that Adam and I were talking about that was like the the sex game version of keep talking and nobody explodes. It would be like, keep talking and everybody explodes. Okay. Now we have buttons in arrays. Let's see how that changed things out here. Yes. Ah, for each mind, mind, in all minds. Save. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, you want you want to know more about that grand gamer? Well, when Adam and I were playing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, we had this idea. So like, it's like, um, you know, Keep Talking Nobody Explodes. You're you're working with the bomb, and one person is telling you what to do, and the other person is doing it to the bomb. But if you if you were having a sex game, and it's like, you know, you're doing things to the person in the sex game. And then the other person at the end of your phone line is supposed to be telling, oh, I need quotes, really, to define button variable names in an array. Um, yeah, and the, the person at the other end of the line is telling you, like, based on what you see in the person in the game, the other person tells you what to do to get them off. Yes. That, uh, that was a very fun game of Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes that we played. So the name buttonmind2 does not exist in the current context. Do we just need quotes around all these? Hope y'all aren't too tired because I am basically dead. Ugh. Oh my god. Let's give that a shot, F8. Nope. Cannot implicitly convert type string to unity button. That's what I thought. So why is it complaining? Do I just need it to be explicit that it is a button? Button body one, button body two, button body three, button body four, button body. Like, button? Is that right? Invalid token? What? What? Parentheses expected. What? Why is this doing this, chat? So this is fine. We define an array of strings called first names. It's a new string array. And then we define the entries in the array. Great. But up here, I'm trying to define 
an array of buttons and define a number of buttons in the array. But it's not fine. Why? It's got lots of problems. I don't know why. Invalid token comma in class struct or interface member declaration. You need to instantiate them. There are no variable names in an array. Just make the array and then don't fill it. Of course. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, save all of that. That's good. Okay, so uh, do I need to put the number of buttons here? Is that right? Or is it here? Array size cannot be specified within variable declaration. Okay. All right, how do I define the size of an array? Define size array. C sharp. Blow. Arrays tutorial. Arrays in general. Declaring arrays. Boop, 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 boop. Multi dimensional arrays. Arrays of arrays. Stuff. Examples. Initializing arrays. and omit the size of the array, like that. Great, great, yes. Do I just need like numbers to identify which numbers there are? That's like button five, and then we just like um, one comma two comma three comma four comma five, like that? Nope. If I do that, nope. But if I have just that, that's also problematic. Is it just like this without parentheses? Save and then F5. Aha! That doesn't make sense to me at all, but that's okay. So now we've got a mind buttons, size five array, and then we've got five elements. Body buttons, size three array. Yeah. On the new, set it to num of minds if you have to. Oh, you're so totally right. This is num of minds. This is num of bodies. Oh my goodness gracious. What? It's non-static, therefore I can't reference it. That is pretty silly. Because I wanted to do that. That was a great idea. Poly Polygontron. It was a great idea, but it didn't work out for us. It didn't quite work out the way we expected it to. Oh, nope. Oops. Boop, boop. Okay. Now we can populate buttons over into here. Three, four, five. Okay. One, two, and then three. Okay. 
I'm going to save this, and it's time for us to call an end to our evening. So what I'm going to do is up the very top here, I'm going to create a next time. Next time on Twitch Makes Game. Um, okay, so we have made buttons. We made minds and bodies linked through persons. We made buttons for minds, buttons for bodies. Populate names and clues into button text. Get minds and bodies. Get mind and body matching functionality working. That's what we need to do next time. So last time, this time. Ta-da! Awesome. Whew. If you assign the arrays and start, you can use your NOMA variables there. Awesome. If you assign the arrays in start, you can use num of minds, etc. there. But whatever. Awesome. Thank you very much, Salmelo, for that tip. The arrays and the number of bodies and minds should be in the class constructor. Now you're just speaking crazy talk. Okay, super great. All right, y'all. Ah, whew. Wow. Sometimes it works and sometimes it really doesn't. That's okay. We're just going to keep going every time. We're going to keep doing it whether it works or not. Ah, I hope you all had a relaxing evening listening to me art about making games. And I hope that you will return next Tuesday when we will continue this which makes games. Um, so, big shout out to Sathalan for the two-month sub and to Wizpig22, my latest follower. Thank you very much to both of you uh, for supporting the stream. If you're wondering who I am and what I do on the internet, my name is Silent Osiris, aka Steven. Uh, most people just call me Steven. I, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube uh, at Silent Osiris, the O is a zero, in all of the places. And I am the I am one of the senior designers working on Roller Coaster Tycoon World for Invisio Creations. So if you like Roller Coaster Tycoon games, you should definitely check it out. So that's all for this evening. I'm gonna find somebody for me to host, and then I'm going to say good night and go relax, go to sleep. So.